Right, this is a, another bit of a follow up video, another quick tip on uh, when you're making the diffuser. Um, when you put the blades in and mounted it onto the aluminium plate and everything and you've got your tube on, obviously you won't have these bolts sticking out or this pipe work, but I don't want to disturb them. So, uh, But what I do, I, I actually turn uh, this face and these outer bits, but you, you've got to be careful, you can't you can't just turn them like you normally would because obviously if it's going the, the, this direction like a normal lathe does you'd bend this out, it would jam up and bend it, throw it off uh, so what I do, I, I use uh, plasticine um, used to be called plasticine that's what I named plast eBay about four pound including delivery I think it was um, obviously the kids enjoyed it, grandkids enjoyed it. Anyway, what you've got to do is, is work it a bit till it goes soft, s squash it in as much as you can, and, and fill these, all these voids, just get it all filled up, yeah? I'll go all the way around, no bolts in, no pipe work on, uh, ripping this in, in the three jaw chuck or four jaw chuck or whatever you want to do you could clock this hole and get it perfectly true if your three jaw is not that good what you've got to do you've got to run this in reverse uh, so when you've got all these filled with this plasticine uh, you can then you can then true this front up and and these to, to one uh, 107.4 I think it is diameter uh, what you'll have to do, run the lathe in reverse and you'll either have to use the, um, this tool upside down yeah, and then it won't, if, if anything it's, it's pushing it back into the plasticine and the plasticine does a good job of supporting it um, or you could, you could try putting the tool at the back that would be the same way, it won't pluck the blades out uh, so it's either upside down here or at the back side. Right. The, you don't need any coolant on it because the oils in the plasticine uh, seem to do a good job, and you'll you'll just you'll you'll machine the plastic bits of plasticine come flying off, but the, 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 it won't come out. It sticks pretty good. Um, obviously, bits come out when you're machining them. So that's a quick tip. Uh, when you when you're doing this rad, you've more or less got to free form it, and again, it's better in the same direction, uh, clockwise direction, yeah. And what you want to do is use a a disc pad. If you've got something slow like this drill, obviously the bigger the pad, it helps, and it helps with going in reverse because then they're both if you they're both turning against one another so it does more sanding and um, obviously this going to two or three hundred revs uh, this going as fast as you can and you, you've got to work that radius now what I suggest you do is have your spinning ready there's something called uh, bedding blue Prussian blue, uh, no that might be the actual mark out blue, bedding blue it's called anyway it's an oil based thing with a blue dye in uh, put a good smear in here and uh, keep trying it and you'll be able to tell where the blue where the blue marks left and blew it up every time where, where you need to get that rad um, I mentioned about this rad uh, on the last video as well it's 7 milli in the book 7 milli radius 14 di diameter 7 milli rad anyway I have increased mine this is this is 8 milli, so it's bigger, mine's bigger than 8, anything bigger than 7 helps it because it, it stops this expanding, contracting again thing round here um, also what you can do if you haven't already met it again it doesn't matter if you have but uh, Kirchhoff's a seven, uh, 6 milli rad on this bit <coughs> 6 milli on plywood now again you, you're better off it, it helps again if this is only 5 milli rad uh, because again, it's it's this area is too big, so again you're helping that area being smaller, and it, it makes it better. Because I think you, what you do, you stick a paper template on the back, 
uh, of the plywood and, and do it upside down that's why it looks like everything's in reverse if I remember rightly so I think that's about it I think this one this diffuses at a, you've got to make sure you get some radius gauges I think it's, it's tended to I can't really show it that clear but it looks like the, the rad's too far back it's kind of uh, Umar's kind of started running too far back so put a put a five milli line in with a pen before you start doing it or you stick the blades in to show where to go to even for four milli and then just wait till the four milli's just disappeared um, I think that's about it just a quick tip okay bye for now